all right, maybe I'm cooking again, but also maybe this playstyle is legit. We have one of the strongest early game setups possible, with all four runes on the precision path being heavily front-loaded, which should give Misfortune exceptional dueling right away. The only way to make this even better for the early game would be to go Eyeball Collection and Taste of Blood, but I think that the raw AD on the Sorcery path is more valuable overall. Additionally, we buy Blade of the Ruined King first item, as its components are excellent for the early game, and the finished item also suits the rune page's all-in potential. We delay the Mythic for Collector and a Last Whisper item, but all the armor pen perfectly works with Blade of the Ruined King, and the crit makes the Infinity Edge purchase much more worth it. Let's give it a spin! Lucian Rel is very dangerous in the early game, especially now that Senna doesn't have Flash. But, I mean, we're playing this Perma All-In build, so we should be able to, you know, uh, have some, or create some counterplay. And they are not losing any experience, which is sad enough. However, we want to play a quiet lane phase if we can, so we don't give Lucian, uh, or we don't play into Lucian's win condition which is snowballing the lane out of control. God, I'm missing so much farm. Okay, as long as Lucian doesn't trigger press the attack on me, I'm fine. Missed three minions for nothing, essentially. Unlucky. Need to be careful of Briar ganks. Ganking bot lane is very juicy for her. I can exhaust Lucian if I have to. Looks like I don't have to. Uh, let's just pretend I didn't fumble my potion and I used it. And let's pretend I did that on purpose to bait Lucian in with a triumph proc. For those of you who didn't realize, if you or if you want to rewind and <laughs> watch it again, you can do that, but I essentially cancelled an auto, letting Rel live much longer than uh, uh, than it would be appropriate, but, I mean, it worked. Senna got two kills. Uh, I, I won't complain about that. Uh, I can't wait to see what the new season brings. We're still playing this on the old patch, of course, but this build... I'm a little bit sad that <laughs> it's, it's also growing me, really. I'm a little bit sad that it's... Or, I'm not sad about the item rework, of course, but I would love to experiment with this build more, but uh, I guess we're running out of time. However, in the new season, there's probably similar strategies with attack speed slash um, all-in power. Especially now that you're not getting punished for, you know, that the mythic item system got removed, essentially. So... I'm really looking forward to that, but so far... By the way, this style of Misfortune has always been my favorite. If you remember the good old Sanguine Blade, uh, the, the old days, that was that was the time. <laughs> Would be nice not to fight while the cannon minions on the line, but what do I know? Okay, let's just push. Or not push, but thin out the wave so it doesn't crash. That's the more accurate way of describing it. I think it's really the fact, or the, the thing I'm really falling in love with here is Triumph. <laughs> I can't do anything for her. She barely lives. Good enough, I guess. Rel is low. No mana left. But at least we trade here. Kind of. I mean... Senna dying is not good. Don't get me wrong, but it's it could have been worse. <sighs> anyway... Killing Rel gets something going. I get more items. I could have bought Dagger plus Boots. That also would have been fine. But judging from their play, they're perma all-inning Senna, not me. Oh, Senna, what are you doing? 
Don't walk into that wave, please. Okay. How did that work in our favor? <laughs> misplay after misplay. I'll take it, though. Thin out the wave. Dude, this lane phase is crazy. Anyway, the Triumph plus Legend Alacrity is strong early game. It's, it's, uh, it's, so, it's actually so much fun. I was always in an overheal believer on Misfortune, but overheal got nerfed a couple of times and whatnot. Lifesteal got nerfed. So, I finally came around to playing with Triumph, and it's, it's actually super powerful. Also, the gold it gives throughout the game. Can't sleep on that. Oh, they're coming. Oh, we're so dead. Yeah, okay, no point for people. That's a little too much. Stupid of me to waste exhaust there. I should have just accepted the fact that uh, we get killed. Mm, maybe I'm there in time for at least the caster minions. This takes eight shots. They take three shots each. Well, that was a nasty gank. I should have paid more attention to the minimap, which I failed to do. Okay, I'm not getting any of these. Unlucky. I literally lost the entire wave. Okay, we pushed this in, they took Dragon, which means they at least spent some time. Alright, got ultimates. You have enough vision, I'd say. Within's missing though. She's top lane. Okay, yeah, we get some good damage on the tower. Alright. Dodged Briar ulti. Too many people. And had I played this cleaner, I could have killed Lucian maybe. But here we are now. This game's getting a little too wild, but now I have full Blade of the Ruined King, which makes my 1v1 much better. Once I trigger press the attack... Oh god, Senna. Oh god, no. Please. Wait, she's a genius. She has red buff now. She can kill her. This is a free, uh, a free um, kill for us. Yo, that was, that was fire. It looked like she was just inting, but man. A genius is beyond comprehension. In any case, we are massively ahead of Lucian, which is all I care about right now. God, I'm messing up my last hits. Okay, let's take a plating. Lucian does not have backup, else he wouldn't have dashed defensively. Never mind. Keep going. Okay, should be fine. The dueling potential. Akali is coming, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm backing off. I'm not looking forward to that encounter. Yeah, we're kind of crashing it in the bot lane, despite all the chaos and the mistakes here and there. We've got so many platings, so many kills for Senna. Brother, be careful. Let's get double longsword boots. Finally. Alright, and by the way, if you want to climb in Season 14, I cannot highly, I cannot recommend enough uh, the coaching service from SoloQ Solution. 
it's an expensive program, both in terms of time and money, so it needs to be a, a well thought out decision, of course. Maybe I can kill her. No, she's too fast. But yeah, if you're really serious about League of Legends, it might just be the right program for you. So check it out in the description. There's all the details you need. And yes, this is a sponsored message because I fully support and stand behind and collaborate with Solo Q Solution. Just letting you know. But for now, 1v2 in the lane. Senna needs to return. I don't dare walk up because they might try to pull a 1v2 all in with Rel's crowd control on me. Can I kill her? Maybe. Okay, there's Rel. I've exhausts. Okay, she dashed over. You can base, I can quickly push the wave, then rotate. Akali is in really bad spots. There we go. Worked beautifully. I have exhaust. Man. <laughs> I feel so powerful with this. It's crazy. A lot of mana left, so we gotta take that into account, but this should be good enough. Please be careful. I have to back off here. If she wants to greet for the plating, then so be it, but I can't stay. Alright, beautiful components. Now I can return bot lane. All in all, this worked out perfectly. But yeah, the key moment was the roam top lane. I saw Akali and um, Huai fighting low HP. Well, I, yeah, so um, even before I saw Rel, that was a sign for me to go there, because Rel might also try to assassinate me. Okay, uh, my team died here. <laughs> Not cool. Did I mess up? It's fine. I messed up, but I salvaged it in terms of making it a one for one, which is still in their favor because shutdown gold plus flash cooldown, but better than just dying for nothing. Yeah, um, I had to respect Akali a little bit more. Whew. But we're still okay. In this game, <clears throat> I wouldn't mind going healing reduction for Briar. Also for Akali and Lucian, it's semi-relevant. Can't go wrong with healing reduction, really, in my opinion. Giant Slayer would be nice against Bolivar too. But, you know. Can't have it all. <laughs> right, push this in and rotate. Lucian gets the wave before it kills the tower. Kind of a shame. I'm trying to help there, but probably too late. Okay, then let's defend this. The tilt surrender. Never a good sign. Yeah, he's safe enough. He's Lucian. Nice try, but I mean, it's an it's an a mobile AD carry, not an immobile one. So that just happens. We're getting collapsed. Guaranteed. They have midland tower advantage, so they can rotate very freely without us noticing. 
You gotta respect this. There's the Akali. Let's please just move. <laughs> Senna, no, don't stay there. Okay, we're fine. We see Akali mid lane, so we can go on the offensive. Which doesn't do much, but at least we can fast to the wave, take the tower. We see Akali, she cannot react anymore, it's too late. That tower is gone. Beautiful. Alright, so uh, there is a an argument for just getting not the Last Whisper component first, but the Executioner's Calling. Because I can afford it right now, and because it's so valuable against Briar. So I'll just do it. Oh, well, also against Radiant Virtue, it does work. <laughs> but yeah, from here we can start team fighting. I have healing reduction, yeah, yeah she's dead. Probably didn't even need the exhausts. Okay, taking midland tower is huge. Drake spawning. Lag spikes, no, 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 no. I'm just pressing walk command on the minimap and hope for the best. Okay, and I got, what is, what on earth? How am I supposed to play this game? Okay, that's terrible. I, I just need a new PC. <laughs> Let's just be real. This is too bad. I had no chance. I was probably dead anyway, but that just made it all the way, all the more frustrating. And I don't know, maybe there was outplay potential. I got the question mark pings too. <sighs> I don't know, man. That's so sad. Let's mute all. The team's tilted. And I don't need to see that. Moving top lane is kind of iffy because of Dragon, but Dragon's probably gone anyway because our jungler is top lane. I know I missed one auto, but I even have healing reduction. How was he able to... Uh, okay, I, I guess I'm on tilt now. Man, this game started so well. And now this. And here we are. Yikes. Okay, let's try to hold it together. Let's try to still win this. Would be nice, wouldn't it? Senna starting to yield tons of damage. Okay, she clears the Herald. Let's go mid lane. Maybe I should have just ulted Volley Bear, just for a couple of waves and then auto attacks. So ult between auto attacks. That would have probably done it as well, but I was, I was just greedily holding onto my R. And now I'm overextending. I even know it, but I still do it. Crazy how the brain works sometimes. Looks like I go unpunished though. I do. Okay, let's base. Senna, please. Senna, don't die. Cancel my base for that. Ugh. I wanted to get the last whisper component because it's very important against Body Bear. Needless to say. Oh, 
Okay, we got this past river, now I just recall. Still get my last whisper and Senna should be fine enough. Please don't overcome it, please. I need you alive. <sighs> okay, looks like a good bait. Oh, goodness. Okay, there we go. 950 shutdown. <sighs> what a bloodbath, but... I mean, I got fed. Yes, please. I'm getting concerningly strong, actually. 10 kills. Wait, why does it show 950? He was never at a legendary shutdown. Maybe I just didn't see that correctly. Might be the case. <sighs> what a chaotic game. But we're doing it. We're actually doing it. And this... Uh, and I can't see how much because I upgraded, right? I can't see how much heating I reduced last fight. It should be such an easy bug to fix, but Riot had uh, have left it in the game for the last two years, <laughs> so what can you say? Let's get fed off of minions as much as we can. Why is she farming, if I'm right next to her? Senna is on a mission again. She flashes into fear range. A little too much. Three versus one, essentially. Had Diana! I mean, you see the circle around yourself. If that happens, that's a circle in which you fear your allies. And she flashed on top of us, so we both got feared. Had she not done this, we would have crushed them. But no. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, I really like the healing reduced value already. Plus this, of course. Almost 4k damage here. This rune, <laughs> 340 gold. This is so crazy. At this point, it's probably best to just sell for pickaxe. It's a lot more damage compared to Doran's. Uh, they're on dragon. I, I guess we just need to go there and instantly screw this wave. Waste of a sweeper. Okay, Briar ulti wasted. Let's just take it. Without Briar ult, what are they gonna do? Big. We're crushing them right now. Teleport Akali. Exhausts. Should save Senna. Alright, let's keep pushing. We can take that tower now. They can't stop us. Or we could go Baron, that's true. 
Yeah, Baron is probably the better call. I hope Senna knows what she's doing. Okay, she gets the tower. That's nice. Yeah, let's reset and bring Baron buff to top lane. Okay. <sighs> the absurd damage we deal. I love it. All that crit and attack speed and attack damage first and foremost. And again, we keep farming, keep our CS high. Critting for 800 on Misfortune, who has low base AD. Yeah, let's go top lane, let's help Huai. Oh god, he's dead. Huh, <sighs> sure. Two and eight. Riot needs to do something about this champion. He's so weak. Really. Come on, please. Let's not give them anything for free. Hmm. Garen died too fast. There we go. Probably the first time I used my ulti in this game. <laughs> ah, goodness. Okay, Lucian. Oh, he's he's dead. Okay, he has his dash. He lives. There we go. After the auto Q auto, they're slowed by Blade of the Ruined King, and then it's just game over for them. We still have a quarter of a Baron buff left, but the team's not really looking to push, it seems. Okay, there's the, uh, not the Huai, the other ulti. Lucian uses dash, but doesn't matter. He gets, his, he gets it back too fast. I could base, but I could only buy either a cheap full item or a component. Brother. I have exhaust if Akali comes. If she finds us. Don't have ults. This could still be, still be good for us. Yeah, okay, we got Akali. They committed extremely hard there. Okay, high dice. Unfortunate. Dragon spawns in 30. They will probably just get it on spawn. Um, by the time I respawn, I have pretty much enough goals to get shield bow, and I think I will get it. It's quite good against them. All assassins. Okay, Senna spawns. Let's hope we don't disinhibit her. Uh, Senna should be able to defend this. She is extremely strong. Look at her items. I wouldn't bother chasing if I were her. Well, I mean... It wasn't the worst chase. In any case, I'm very strong now. Last item is Phantom Dancer instead of Boots. And then we should be dominating everyone. Okay, why wants this? I can give him some farm. He needs more item. He still needs items more badly than I do. <laughs> Naturally. Look at his score. Okay. 
Garen's starting to make some progress on the map. That's what I love to see. But we need to be careful not to get one shot. By whatever they throw on us. Don't fear us. Okay, I got the Briar, which is the most important. Ah, oh, Senna dies instantly. No! Come on, guys. Ah. We got the two Tilters alive, <laughs> which probably means bad news. Yeah, they just take Baron now, don't they? Yeah, I need to be more careful with Raya. I shouldn't have ulted her. I should have stayed mobile on my feet. So she doesn't get an easy engage on me. Or follow up. Low key Runa's Hurricane? I don't know. I think I like Phantom Dancer a little bit more. But those bolts would would hurt. 100% crit plus some on hit damage. Yeah, they take Baron here, but we take Volibear. Get him. Oh god, I'm dead. Don't fear yourself. The shield bow was on cooldown too, so I have no chance there. Ah, they baited us perfectly. I thought we would just trade that for a Baron. But catch the Volley Baron no matter what. If Briar dies, then we're actually fine. Okay, okay, it's all good. We, uh, I mean, we lose our AD carry. Uh, we lose me. But they lose their 24 kills jungler. Iffy. But Senna can carry this. Tough. She needs to play with range perfectly. <sighs> oh no, she messed up. Oh no, she messed up. Oh, come on. Alright, let's farm top lane, get my last item and get to work. She misclicked. All she needed to do was auto attack her one more time. I don't have enough for my item yet. They're probably taking Baron, but it doesn't matter at this point, I would say. I can't stop it anyway. Plus, we. It, it doesn't change the strategizing in teamfights. It, it's pretty much meaningless. Okay, full build, 100% crit. They did not take Baron. Dragon spawns in 50. Critting for a thousand damage each auto attack. We just need to make sure not to get one shot by Briar. Drake in 20. We don't want to give them Infernal Soul. I should stop farming, by the way. Don't take gold from them. They can take Baron, but if we can take Drake for that, that's worth, I'd say. Drake is more important than Baron at this point. It's not like they can now magically siege. We still can all in them and kill them all. Get 
Careful. I'm attacking minions, of course, to clear the Baron minions. As you can see, their siege isn't working. Lots of cooldowns have been used, but no one died. <laughs> Not sure if that's good or bad. Of course, good that none, none of our teammates died, but we also committed hard to this. Okay. Make sure Hwai gets the cannon. And yeah, I think the most important thing here now is to set up a good uh, dragon fight in four minutes. Whoever gets Drake's soul wins the game. Pretty sure about that. Might sell Blade for Wit's End, potentially, to better guard against Akali. Okay, that's big. Come on, Hwai, please. This Briar 1v9. Okay, I mean... Uh, Briar gets it, Briar gets the Penta. Uh, well deserved, <laughs> she played this game well. Gotta admit, 29 kills. Um, I guess it's fine to lose to that. But that was a lot of fun, actually, so let's play another. Facing Ezreal Bard this game. Bard is... Arguably the, str or the strongest support into Misfortune. Oh god. <laughs> Followed by Zillion. But yeah, we gotta respect it, especially the Magical Journey ganks. So, uh, let's wait until Brand reaches level 3, which is the point where he gets full access to his passive. Unfortunate. Level 2 is also quite nice because he gets a stun, but... Um, we don't want to be too aggressive when Brand is at his weakest. Gotta play around our support's power spikes. So, I'm completely happy with having the wave close to the tower. Going for the occasional last hits. Oh, he didn't even get a stun. Well, I guess it makes sense. He can pressure with WE. Oh, he's a little too aggressive, lost half his health. Okay. Can a minion? Let's not lose it. There we go. Oh, that's a big engage. Well, engage, quote unquote. So we just get a nice press the attack combo. Brand gets his Dark Harvest stack. And now he's level 3. Now we can actually start doing stuff. Now they need to respect, but whenever Bard goes missing, we have to keep in mind that he could be um, porting his jungler over. Crazy. Ezreal keeps walking into these bounces. Ezreal also kind of good against Misfortune because he can stay out of Q bounce range farming with his Q. Are we fine? Okay, that was neck breaking. <sighs> Tough one. This could have been quite good for us had I not walked into Brand uh, into into Bart stun, uh, stun. Yeah, walked into Brand, enabling Bart stun. Essentially, that was my fault, one hundred percent. I could have played this much cleaner. Okay, but as long as I'm getting my farm, who cares? <laughs> Repeat gank. Might happen, actually. Okay, did not get hit by my Q this time around. Brand is low on mana, too.
but we get good damage in Ezreal. Chances are we can pressure them out of lane before they pressure us, and then create an advantage that way. Just make sure we get our farm, because that's very important <laughs> when you play AD carry or when you play any farming champion. Graves mid lane, so we can be a little more proactive. Extremely valuable damage. Ezreal, well he has teleport, so we're not going to get an advantage uh, in terms of, uh, in the classical sense, that we get minion advantage, but, or farm advantage. But we get a summoner spell advantage, so that's also quite valuable. I would argue. Giving up the one cast I minion just to ensure I get the cannon. <clears throat> Branch it back off. Ezreal's already on its way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to we need to not waste time when we play against the teleports. Yeah, and I really like this base. We get to spend all our money on combat stats. Extremely potent. Boots is a consideration here, but we have flash. As long as you have flash, I don't think it's too necessary to buy early boots. I'd much rather have my offensive items. And so far, so good. They have a strong early game team, but we outscale them. Pantheon, Graves, Ezreal even. So but just not losing lane or not losing early game, we are setting ourselves up for success. Dodge the Q. Get the farm. So they get a dragon out of this, but... Oh god. But that's still to be expected with that aggressive in early game. Ezreal has Sheen. Good damage. Tried to snipe him there, but he didn't walk into it. That was a very optimistic Q, <laughs> definitely. 10 CS per minute for now. So everything according to plan. Okay, Bard is here again, so we don't need to worry about Magical Journey. Let's get a plating. Okay, just gotta play around missing enemies. Katarina miss right now, but I don't think she's ganking. Yeah, she's mid lane still. Again, by going even early, we win late game. Corky dying here, of course, not what we want, but it's uh, it's it's not neck breaking or anything. It's just. One extra death. Evelyn with a nasty lane gank. Did she show herself? Why does she look so unstealthy? Guess it's the skin. Okay, Evelyn is gone. Bard is in mid lane. What a catch. <laughs> Yo, that brand all in. He made it work incredibly well. The greediest base location, but I think we can get away with it. We're not gonna get, uh, gonna get interrupted with... Uh, okay, close. We almost get interrupted, but... It worked. And we get a full Blade of the Ruined King now. We're extremely strong. Nice. That's what I like to see. That's a game to my liking. Pantheon, the early game powerhouse, also behind in lane already, so he's gonna be useless. All good signs going forward. So 
So Brand is roaming, which means I'm 1v2. And I gotta play accordingly. They will get a plating or two. Maybe. The wave's very big. Okay, they're too afraid of Evelyn. He just takes my farm. Okay. Wave gone. I'll just push Ezreal in. Ezreal hates being pushed in because his wave clear is so terrible. Shot on for Pantheon. <sighs> Something to keep in mind. He's not irrelevant anymore. Okay. That's definitely warded. But we keep pressuring, we keep pushing the wave, and Ezreal can't do with it. And we see... we wouldn't see Bard necessarily, because he can come from the bushes. Yeah, okay, we're a little reckless right now. We see Katarina again, so she can't gank. But the idea is still the same. We push and punish Ezreal for his weak position. Bard ulti also very dangerous, but as long as I have my... How dead am I? Very. <laughs> okay, worth. That's definitely worth my heal. And Katarina wasted so much time, we might be able to... No, Graves is here. Okay. Or actually... Okay, but well, still good enough, I'd say. Considering how badly we got caught there. That was quite the turnaround. Um, go like this. Just sit on 300 gold, it's whatever. Yo, what a bard. Oh, no, what's his name? Brand Engage. Yeah, Brand is ahead, I'm ahead, Corky is ahead, everyone's ahead. So, the early game team loses the early game. Definitely not complaining about that. <laughs> Alright, Bard ulti should be on cooldown. Really? <laughs> what a timing. Okay, we see Katarina. But I'm 1v2. I need to wait for Brand just to be safe. Okay, wave resets, and Brand is here. So now we go on the offensive. Just lifesteal. And keep going. Bard is super low. Might be good. I stay here. I need to pressure the wave. Pressure Ezreal. He doesn't have lifesteal, so... He can't take a trade like this again. For some reason, okay, yeah, I know, I know what happened. <laughs> he teleported. Shouldn't be surprised. I, I need to recall. I want my mana back, and I want some components. Oh, 
I'll sit on 300 again. Um, there is an argument for buying a long sword and then hoping to get the required gold for collector next base anyway. I guess both are uh, viable, just sitting on the gold to get collector more safely. Less immediate power, missing out on 10 AD, but uh, yeah, I decided that way. But either is fine. Bard is nearby. Graves mid lane. I just pushed this in. Yeah, push it in and rotate. Sounds good. I could try to pressure this, but I think rotating is better. Also allows me to stay safer. Midland Tower is also worth more than bot lane tower. We get some good autos on that. Now Ezreal is back in bot lane, so I return too. Not losing out on any farm. So I stayed safe and I pressured mid lane tower, which is the most valuable tower on the map. Okay, Brand on his way. I spent a little bit of mana here. But we're still fine, I say. And Ezreal is quite low, no ulti. Tower is low, it's 1v2. So we can just take that away. And now rotate mid lane again, hopefully take mid lane tower too, but Evelyn dies. Which makes this a little bit more difficult. I'll take that. Triumph procs. Ezreal's still alive. I don't have mana left, though. But man. And Brand cleans up. Ah, oh, come on. A can of minion. However, this build just keeps delivering. Of course, I now wish I had bought the extra longsword. Would have made these plays a lot easier. And I have enough money already. But it is what it is, though. Let's base. This wave is way past River, so we don't need to stay here at all. Evelyn gets a free Drake. They can't contest. They're too far pushed back in their base. Let's go like this. Against them, do I, do I want the Giant Slayer? Ah, the other one has five more AD and anti-heal is also always nice. I'm not sure. I love this trading pattern, the auto Q auto. You proc all your stuff. You can just do whatever you want next. There's no objective right now. All the lanes are pushed, so I have time to walk towards red buff and get this. Go back mid lane, push it past river, then join the team. Using my time perfectly. Let's not die to random stuff though. Corky? Okay, perfect Corky engage. Nice. Alright. Four down, beautiful Herald. This is this is game winning. That's a disadvantage. I would be surprised if they were able to come back from this, but you never know. It's league. 
Yeah, we'd smash their inhibitor in. Maybe we even get another charge F ulti. We try to defend this, I ult you. <laughs> Okay, that was a fail ult. I ulted as Katarina jumped behind me and then I stood there doing nothing except for getting damaged by Katarina. That was a mistake for sure, I should have just kept autoing. But mistakes happen. Uh, five more AD plus Grievous Wounds or Giant Slayer. You know what, Grievous Wounds. The, pa the passive hardly makes a difference this game, so five more AD is actually the deciding factor. They're very squishy overall. No Scion or Dr. Mundo or... Yeah, Dr. Mundo would also warrant healing reduction, but no hyper, hyper tanky top laner or jungler. So I'm fine with that. Ouch. Okay, wait for Koki. Right, Evelyn. Koki is here. But so is everyone else. Okay, I try to follow up on Evelyn's engage. Man, okay, this is how you can still lose a game like this. I'm just playing very sloppily here. Gotta admit. Is Camille fine? No, she isn't. She's dead. Yeah, okay, we need to actually focus or else we might lose this game. Don't want that to happen, of course. But at the same time, we're making progress in the map. It's not like they have real counterplay. It's not like they're getting dragons or barons or whatnot. So this is still heavily in our favor. Katarina pushing top lane. I can take this camp and meet the wave here. For maximum gold income. And then I can go for dragon. Alright, catch the wave. At least those four minions, but now I need to walk. My team's fighting overextended. This looks terrible. Or does it? Well, we are outnumbered, but... They are uncoordinated. Just take the dragon, come on. Take the free stuff, win the game. No reason to take any risk here. Okay, Evelyn's on the right track. And we just take it down. Got him. Okay, it's his flash. That's definitely worth. There's no point being mid lane though. The inhibitor is gone. Oh, come on. <laughs> totally not a kill steal. <laughs> oh well. A kill for the AD carry can't be too bad. But there are certainly better uses for my ulti. I'd like to push bot lane. Okay, that worked. 
Um, do we win the fight overall? Corky lives, they need to retreat. Bard lives too. I get to life steal back up. Yeah, we recall. It's fine. We're not pushing another tower here. So recall, get BF sword, get boots upgrade. We can pressure Baron. Okay. So far, so good. They still have very little counterplay. Graves is decently strong at this point, but Katarina is really their only threat. The others are largely irrelevant. There we go. With Baron, we should be able to crack open their base. Defending against a siege like this, especially when you no longer have inhibitor towers, kind of rough. Katarina's dead. Only threat they had is gone. That's a free inhibitor. Maybe we can even finish. Alright, stay tuned for Season 14, lots of new builds coming, and uh, in the meantime, here's another video, I guess. <laughs>